Well, hello, folks. It's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences. And there's been another release. And I didn't get a chance to look at it till this morning because when it broke last night, I was hanging out with my homies in the Extreme Sequences Syndicate Extreme Talk. And others were talking about it. And I did see the video from Clyde. So hats off to Clyde for making the video uh, showcasing what this new feature does for mapping uh hats off to uh x light i think it was david preem i believe that did what we're about to see which is sort of a cool thing but i also saw a lot of confusion this morning with people not quite understanding what was the whole thing about the discussion with having to move folder locations or going to someone else's world going into their directories no 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 no, no. we ain't nobody going to no directory so cancel your flights this is a lot simpler than that. No directories. Don't worry about directories. I'll show you what this is all about. I'll humanize this very quickly for you. So we're going to go right into X lights. Okay. And by the way, well, what this is that I'm going to show you is allow direct import from packaged sequence zip file. It's like zip file magic. It's really because it's doing something in the background. So instead of you double clicking on it and telling it where to go, because I know I've had a few zip files I'd like to tell where to go, you don't have to do that anymore. It's been enhanced by Dpream. All right. Let's demystify this. Let's humanize this. I've got this cool sequence I just purchased from Extreme Sequences called Grim Granny Ghosts. And I want to map it to my show. And I want to do this the easiest way possible. So I've downloaded the file. Here it is. Grim grinning ghost. Great. What do I do with this? Well, in X lights, we know that we first have to create a new sequence, musical sequence, and we have to tell it where the music is. So we go in here because there are copyright laws. You have to buy the music. We go in the music and let's tell it the 40 frames. Why not? Let's go big. Go big and go home. So we pulled in the music, we told it 40 frames, and then you choose your view. If you don't have a view, then just click done. I have a Halloween view for a specific reason to keep the hierarchy of my submodel groups. And I click done and it brings in the music. Perfect. That's the first step, right? We've seen all this before. This is no different than what we've always been teaching. Now we want to import. And here we go. Let's import this. I'm going to import import effects. And then you just point it to where you put that grim grinning ghost zip file. And you say, okay, what's going to happen? Oh, we went right to a map channels, grim grinning ghost, XSAQ, blah, 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 blah. This is the mapping tool. This is it. We didn't have to unzip the file it it magically burrowed its way electronically into that zip file and said i'm going to use you and here we are uh for me uh, i'll just click on auto mapping because i'm mapping from my show to my show so it's easy uh it doesn't change anything with uh the mapping process you still have to map so if your names of your models are the same as mine then the mapping process will be easy or you can load your previous mapping file in my case i'm going to click auto map and i would suggest that you do save the mapping file i've already saved this and that way if i needed to make a change in here i could repeat the entire process come back in make my changes and hit save so all i'm going to do is click ok and it says the following assets were missing now uh, the Grim Grinning Ghost by Voice Play, which is an MP4, uh, that is not something I sell. That is not something I can give away. I give you a link so you can go get it if you like. It's for reference. And then there's another file here. This is showing you that at some point this was in the sequence. Well, Blue Eye is not actually in the sequence. Uh, I couldn't figure out why it thinks it is unless it's hidden somewhere. Uh, but you could ignore that. There is no Blue Eye dot movie in this particular sequence. But it's good at telling you, hey, uh, somehow you're missing something. So reach out to the sequencer and ask them about it. And now that I've told you, you won't have to ask me about it. Excellent. Click OK. And it pulls everything in like normal, including all of your timings right now, because I have a particular view, my timings are over here in the master view. So all I have to do is go boom. Now the timings are in my Halloween view, which I treat as a master view. 
I have other courses on that. So yeah, don't worry about that right now. But here are all the files and here are the assets. And I was thinking, how does this know this? I mean, it, is this trying to look at my original uh, folder on my computer? Because I could see how it would know that that's where it was born, but that's not what it was doing. No, 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 no. Even all the images, the images are all there. Everything's there. We can do a render. Everything is absolutely there, no matter what. Shaders, videos, images. And the reason this works is because when you map this over from the zip file, it automatically created a brand new folder in your show directory called imported media. And it's very distinctive because there's no space between the D and the M. That's not how I spell. That's obvious. This is something new. And so you double click in there. You're like, oh, hey, there's my sequence. Well, what's in here? <gasps> oh, there's the images. Oh, very cool. There's the videos. And if there were shape, oh, well, here's something that's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I think this missed the shaders. I think I have a shader effect on the triune tomb that it might have missed. So let's verify. Let's go down to our triune tomb, triune tomb from Gilbert Engineering and see if that is the case. Oh, it is. There is a shaders effect and this is currently looking in Halloween 2021 shaders. So somehow this is looking in my old folder and I'll look into this. Don't, don't let this just detract you from using it. It just simply didn't pull in the shader. So I'll try to figure out why. Maybe I'll report back. But heck, if it got the images and videos in one fell swoof, that's beautiful. So again, this creates a brand new folder in the mapping process, puts it into your show directory with the videos, images, and shaders. And then you render, save, play, and you're on your way. That's it. I hope this was helpful. I think this is a very handy tool uh, to cut down on some of the time. It doesn't really matter where you put the zip file. I, I suggest you put it somewhere in your show directory in a folder called imported uh, files. I've taught people to do this for the last four or five years. Try to keep your, uh, try to keep your directories organized. All right, that's all I got for you. Hats off to the development team for making something really cool. Now I gotta go delete all my old videos. <laughs> See you guys.